In this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you about Charles' Law. Charles' Law is a gas law, and with Charles' Law, our pressure stays constant. That means it's not changing. So your problems probably won't even mention pressure, or they do, they only give you one pressure. What we're looking at with Charles' Law is the relationship between temperature and volume. If the temperature goes up, what happens to the volume? If the temperature goes down, what happens to the volume? So we're just looking at those two variables. And Charles' Law says that the volume divided by the temperature is equal to a constant. That's not the form that we generally use it in, but that's what his law says. The form that we actually use it in is when we have changing conditions. So we have a beginning volume and a beginning temperature. And since that equals a constant, the ending volume divided by the ending temperature will equal the same constant, so we can set them equal to each other. So this is the start, and this is the conditions at the end. One other thing I should mention, whenever you're working any of these gas laws that have temperature in them, the temperature must be converted into Kelvin. So if you are given a temperature in Celsius, like 10 degrees Celsius, you have to add 273 to change it into Kelvin. So this is your conversion. You have degrees Celsius plus 273 equals Kelvin. Notice there's no degree symbol on Kelvin. They're actually called Kelvins. So 10 degrees Celsius plus 273 equals 283 Kelvins. You won't have any negative Kelvins. The lowest you can go is zero Kelvin, and that's absolute zero. Nothing is that cold. So you will not have to worry about any kind of negative sign on your temperature and you will also not have to worry about a zero which is good since they are in the bottom of a division and you can't divide by zero. Notice there was no P in the formula that we're going to use because pressure is not changing. The first thing we need to do is pull out all of our variables. So we know there's going to be a V1, T1, V2 and T2. Remember that liters or milliliters are going to be volume. So it's saying the gas occupies 12.2 liters at 23 degrees Celsius. So those two conditions go together. So we're going to have 12.2 liters at 23 degrees Celsius. What volume will it have? So this is our X. It's going to come out in liters because we were given liters for our other volume. And what volume will it have at 45 degrees Celsius? So remember, first thing you need to do before anything else is add 273 to your temperatures to make them into Kelvins. 296 Kelvin, 318. Kelvin. So when we set it up into our equation, remember that our equation is, is V1 over T1 equals V2 over T2. That's our equation that we're going to be using for these problems. That's Charles' Law. So V1 is 12.2 liters. T1 is 296 
Kelvin. V2 is our X we're trying to solve for. And T2 is 318 Kelvin. Now there's a number of ways that you can solve this. Probably the easiest is to just cross multiply. So if we take 12.2 times 318, so this times this equals that times that, 296x. So that gets it out of the fraction form and it's a lot easier often to solve in this form. Now, since I want to get x by itself, I need to divide, since this is times, I need to divide by 296. But if I do it to the right to keep it equal, I need to do it to the left, 296. So I'm going to take this number, divided by 296, and I get 13.1 equals these two cancel, and the only thing left on there, that side, is x. So our x is equal to 13.1 liters as our final answer. Let's try a second problem. In this one, we're given a starting volume of 2155 milliliters. Our starting temperature is 20 degrees Celsius plus 273 will be 293 Kelvin. Our final volume is 3,000 milliliters. Notice they both are in milliliters, so we don't have to convert. If one had been given to us in liters and one in milliliters, we would need to get them both into milliliters or both into liters. As long as they're the same unit, we're okay. And we are asked to find T2, so that is our X. And remember, because it's coming out of this gas law, it's going to be in Kelvin, just like our T1 is. So V1 is 2155. T1 is 293. V2 is 3000. And T2 is what we're trying to find. Again, we're going to cross multiply, so we're going to have 2155 times x equals 293 times 3000. This diagonal equals that diagonal. So 2155x equals 8, 7, 9, 0, 0, 0. To get our x by itself, we're going to have to divide by 2155 on both sides. This one will cancel and we'll just be left with x. And this one, we need to divide by 2155 and we get 4 08 Kelvin as our final answer. I hope this has helped. We did one finding volume and one finding temperature. So you've seen pretty much every which way it can go. Please like and subscribe and have a great day.